Hello and welcome to the tutorial for Move It's Turning Circle. Turning Circle is almost as the name implies. We have a turning radius rate which is set to zero for disabled and we have a min turning radius speed percentage meaning that for this to be applied it has to be above zero and you have to be moving at above 50% of your maximum speed. So I'm going to turn this off so it always applies. And then I'm going to set it to a value of say 100. The higher it is, the smaller the circle. So if I move, I turn in a circle, you can see that it has been constrained to a circle. Now, it also works for strafing movement. However, pivoting will break that constraint. So why would you want to move to use this? Maybe you have a character like a beast of some form, like a monster, and you don't want them to simply waddle on the spot. You want them to have to move to actually strafe. You, you don't want them to be able to just make minor macro adjustments. This can help enforce realistic movement, but let's say we set it to 200. And we have a look at what that circle's like. Now this is something that you might be able to work with in a shooter to get more organic movement. But not everyone likes this type of movement. It is not common in games. It is something you can experiment with and see if it suits your game. Now, the reason there is a minimum speed percentage is because what happens if you hit an obstacle and this stops you navigating around it? This is simply here so that if you collide with something or if you're moving very slow you can still move as you would expect you have to be moving above the speed for the circle to apply so the default is 0.5 but maybe 0.2 20 percent of your speed makes more sense so that's essentially what the turning radius rate does. It enforces semi-realistic movement to your strafing patterns in a way. It's up to you to use it or not, but it's always something you want to know that is there as an option for your game's movement. 